Nowadays, you want to capture every moment of your life, even if it's burning off a cracker or birth of a new baby. You don't want to miss any of them. So you might not have your DSLR or a camera everywhere you go, but you carry your smartphone everywhere, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you the best camera apps for an Android device which can change your photo clicking experience. Hey, what's up guys, Bhushan here from Android Geek Expert. With that being said, let's get started. Alright, starting the show, we have Bacon Camera. So essentially what this app does is enables you to capture some dope photos with not full but semi manual controls like manual exposure compensation and much more to talk about. You can also apply live effects like monochrome, negative, aqua, ambo, sketch and many more. So you can also easily change how the photo will look without hanging on to a new app for the same reason. Just mess around with the app and enable yourself to take some cool photos with semi manual controls over your camera. So hopping up next is camera FB5 Lite. So basically this app just works same as Bacon Camera but with some extra features baked into it. Changing the photo format to JPEG to DNG, tinkering with the ISO and my personal favorite to choose how to focus on an object. Yeah, I know you can do manual focusing in your phone with Bacon Camera as well but camera FB5 goes beyond this. So basically this app provides you with plethora focusing modes like macro focus, focus lock, continuous autofocus and much more. So if you are a person who films a lot of videos on your smartphone, then this camera app will take your video production game to a next level. Wanna get some DSLR like feel on your Android phone? Then Snap Camera is made for you. So the first thing you will notice once you open this app is this shitty message. But if you are a premium version, then no worries. Keeping all the shit aside, this app provides you with some great DSLR like controls. And you know what's good, even the mode changer is designed like a DSLR mode changer. So you know that satisfying DSLR mode changing and stuff now can be also done on a smartphone. At first the UI might feel a bit confusing because it really is confusing. But it also has a trick of its sleeve. There are so many features baked into this one app that it's so hard to cover them all in such a short period of time. But speaking them all without breaking my breath, you can change the shutter speed, ISO, exposure, white balance, do manual focus, take macro shots, set the saturation, shoot raw. Oof, and there are so many more to talk. So just download this app and hop onto your ride of full manual control over your camera. But I don't know why but just for some odd reasons features like ISO shutter speed were just not working with my Redmi Note 4. So just tell me if they worked for you or not. Alright summing things up we have a pretty different camera app. This is Microsoft's Hyperlapse. So basically this is an alternative to Instagram's Hyperlapse which was still and probably will be an iOS exclusive. But Microsoft Hyperlapse is doing the same thing which Instagram Hyperlapse offers. Now before you go bonkers thinking what the hell in this world does Hyperlapse mean? So here is a quick example of it. You saw it, now ask yourself, was this film on a DSLR? No. So you might ask, you used the gimbal right? Well no to that as well. So breaking the overbrowed, this video was completely filmed on my Redmi Note 4 and not stabilized at all in post production. So basically what this app does is, it takes hyperlapse videos from your smartphone and stabilizes it in the background. And as you saw, it works really really well in my opinion. So the app interface is damn simple, even a monkey can use it and take selfies with it. I don't know why he would take it but it's damn simple so he can also take it if he wants to. So just hit on the record or the import button and once done it will take some time to process it because it stabilizes it as well. And that's it, you are ready with your hyperlapse. So here's a quick tip, just record your hyperlapse and once done just drag the speed slider all the way up to 1x and hit on save. So what this will do is provide you the same video without speeding it up but stabilizing it beforehand. 
So before going, as you all know that I am not much into making app videos, cause I think that you guys are not interested in watching it. But if you are interested and you want me to make more best app videos, then just hit me down in the comments down below so I can get your opinions. And as always, the download links to all the apps are in the description down below, so make sure you dig into it. With that being said, I'm Android Boy Kingsport, and I'm signing up.